right, my alarm's just gone off at 2.30 in the morning, which is far too early. But uh, we are going up to Yorkshire for the European Open Beach Fishing Championships. We've got to drive an hour to Southampton, jump in Darren Kramer's van, then we're going to pick Ryan Whitcomb up in the Midlands somewhere, uh, and then off to Yorkshire. I'm probably not going to film anything for about four hours because it's just too early. Builders logo in it. We're going to charge him sponsorship now. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> We've really learned so far is Darren has porridge sandwiches. Yes. Porridge, porridge and golden syrup sandwiches. <laughs> golden syrup is fine. <laughs> porridge is not okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a porridge sandwich. <laughs> Your head looks pretty really big there. I think we're a it is a big head. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. It doesn't look big. It is big. <laughs> Right, um, just arrived in the caravan, it's 20 to 2. Um, God, it's been a long old day so far. I've been out since 2.30. I'm going to try and get some sleep. We'll head up to the uh, the bar bit later on, and that's where they do all the presentations and stuff on the end of Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully, I'll be up on the big stage, if all goes well. But maybe not. <laughs> we've just actually, what we've done, we've got in, we've gone to look at a few different marks. Now... Darren and Ryan um, have been up here a lot of years um, and they sort of know all the marks and we found a couple of possible places. So, um, yeah, it's really good to come up with people that actually know what they're doing because it's a bit tricky coming up here on my own like I have in the past with no knowledge whatsoever. I have got a interview in the morning with BBC Sussex at 7.40, so I've got to make sure I've got phone signal for that as well. But, um, yeah, it's great to get on the BBC and get some uh, coverage. But, right, let's get to sleep. Right, I've just had literally 30 minutes sleep. Now, I've got to get up. We're going to go for a beer in the bar, and uh, we're only going to have, like, two beers because we've got to be up at... Uh, uh, what have we got to be? I think my alarm's set for four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Wilson's there, right, right, right. John's all right. Sorted. Dave's had the same hair for 25 years. <laughs> Never changed. Never changed. Never changed. Never changed. 25 years. Never changed. Same He's all colour blonde, dude. Never changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, he's over. Okay. <laughs> On the show today, by the way, after half past nine this morning, my special guest live is the brilliant Chesney Hawks, the one and only Chesney. And he's got a couple of gigs coming up in our area. Details on the way when we catch up with Chesney after half past nine today. Mark Carter. The sound, the sound of, the sound of Sussex. Sussex. And all the music you love. Music on the way from ELO. In the meantime, an angler from Sussex is this weekend competing in a major contest. And the prize money on offer is... £35,000. It is called the European Open Beach Championships. It's taking place in East Yorkshire and it's thought around 1,500 anglers will be taking part. And one of them is a proper character who's been on this show before. Welcome back, Jimmy Willis from Rustington. Morning, Jimmy. Hello, Mark. You well, mate? I am very well. It's been ages since I last saw you. How are you doing? Yeah, really, really wow. Um, we're, we're currently actually sat in a beach shelter looking at the sea in uh, Yorkshire. It's beautiful here. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me on. It's uh, always an honour to speak to you, Mark. You're a lovely man. Now, what's the weather like at the moment up there? Well, yesterday it was very windy when we were having a look around. Today it's died down quite a lot. 
Uh, and it's fairly pleasant for a, a March day in Yorkshire. <laughs> OK, well, that's good. Now, tell us how this competition works, because essentially you're trying to catch the biggest fish. Yeah, so most of the, the, the big competitions we do down on the south coast, uh, they're pegs. So you pull a peg out, and that's your number, and that's where you fish. This one, up at the European Open Beach Fishing Championships, you can go where you want along 30 miles of coastline. Um, so you need to find a good spot. And this competition, you really need uh, one or two big fish, which is another big difference because a lot of other matches, it's total weight. Here, it's your biggest fish of the day. So uh, this time of year up here, it's very likely we're fishing for cod. So... We need a big cod today, uh, and we don't catch many down on the south coast now, so it's quite a treat to come up north and uh, have a go for a big cod. What kinds of fish, then, are most common in that area? Is it, is it the cod fundamentally, then? It's mainly cod up here, mainly cod, but because it's been a bit windy, there is a good chance of a big bass as well. So bass and cod, um, which is yeah, it's very different to down south. As I say, we don't get many cod, so... I'm not sure why we don't get them down on the south coast now, but um, I've never, you know, I really struggle to catch them. So we're really hopeful today that we can get one of them big ones. You know, you can get a big 10-pound cod up here, which would uh, be a, a, just a dream come true, really. Yeah, OK. And, and remind us now, how long is it you've been angling and, and what got you into it in the first place? Wow. And this, I've been fishing my whole life. So um, I started freshwater fishing when I was very, very young. Um, but I moved to, my partner lives in Worthing, and we, we, I moved there around six, seven years ago. So obviously we moved to the coast. I'm from Wiltshire originally. And as I was by the sea, I thought I'd have a go at sea fishing. Um, within a year, I started doing a few competitions. I guess three or four years ago, I started doing a few competitions. Um, and it's kind of taken over, Mark. It's taken over my life a little bit. Every weekend we're out doing these big competitions. Um, I have the odd good result. Um, it is tricky because the competitions I do, I'm fishing against England international anglers and they've been doing it a long time and they're very good and I've still got an awful lot to learn. But um, we do get the odd result um, and today would be a big result if we can manage to pull it off. But it's a huge prize, isn't it? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I might be able to have Monday off, Mark, if it all goes well. <laughs> <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you what, it'd be cotton chips for the rest of the year. I mean, yeah. that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, okay, and so so chances-wise, I mean, there are there are a lot of other people taking part in this. So uh, slim pickings, but you never know your luck. You never know your luck. With a big fish competition, you never know your luck. Anyone can win it. Um, and that's the, the, the wonderful thing about angling as uh, in competitions. I mean, you can, there's not many sports you can be pegged next to one of the best like sportsmen in the world for example if i start playing football i'm not going to go and play at wembley uh, against a superstar <laughs> but in angling you can you can turn up and you can compete against the very best and every now and again you can beat them you can okay and what do you say to those people who say honestly that must be the dullest thing going just sitting there with a fishing rod Oh, it's beautiful. When people um, actually come out and have a go, especially in the warmer months in the summer, to be fair, it is a wonderful thing to be by water. Uh, it is a calming, relaxing thing. I mean, after the last couple of years, I think we all need to spend a bit more time outside. Uh, and, you know, so it, is, it is good fun. Come, try, give angling a go. That's what I say. All right. We, we can follow you on social media. You're all over social media these days. At Real Jimmy Willis Mark, yeah, our Instagram, uh, all my live stories will be going up. If there's any success, you will see it there. And uh, I will do a little video on my YouTube channel as well. All right. Well, if, if you win, I'll see you in the fancy restaurant. If not, I'll see you in the chippy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way, Mark, it would be lovely to see you again soon, buddy. Yeah, come, come in and see us. It'd be great to have you in. Jimmy Willis, thank you so much. We might have had a few beers in the bar last night. I'm still not 100% sure that was the best preparation for the match. <sighs> we saw uh, John Delaney and uh, Robbie Gin, and basically there's loads of Southern League uh, boys up here. We kept saying we were going to have one more, but I think we had another five after we said we were going to have one more. But we're now calling John Delaney one more John. <laughs> <laughs> The old chef, 
Beach. Um, it is half an hour until the start of the European Open Beach Fishing Championships 2022. Uh, massive thanks to Mark Hart from the BBC for having me on again. Uh, it's always nice to talk to Mark uh, and it's great to get uh, fishing uh, on the mainstream BBC media. So the rig wise is very different. We're going on one, I think on the first cast, we're going to go for a fixed panel that's all tangled and i'm using nice long snood today big fish big snoods that's my idea um but it's uh, just a, a fixed panel i haven't i'm not using massive hooks i've got um size one on the bottom um and then going up to a sort of a, a size two to new hook uh, and then we're gonna put basically loads of black lug bait bait wise i've just got loads of blacks um about four days old no i think they, that that should do the job uh, and then i'm going to combine that with squids uh squid and black lugs pretty simple um another rig that i am going to use as well i've got um a two up a two up rig clip down uh with sort of size one sort of aberdeen style of hooks on um uh, and that's yeah, about 75 centimetres snood, so slightly, well, quite a lot longer than I would normally use on my sort of clip-down rigs, but... I'm quite excited now. I'm quite excited. So we've been fishing for one hour and 20 minutes and we have caught a fish. We haven't blanked, um, a bit sandy. Got ourselves a rockling, 23 centimeters. The only problem is rockling don't count for this competition. So we're gonna put this one back, safe and sound. Nice fat rockling though. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't count, but I mean, I haven't blanked, well I sort of have blanked because I still can't weigh in, but there's still time for a cod. What's washed up? <laughs> you alright down there? We thought you'd had a fall. <laughs> what have you caught then? Nothing. Nothing. I've had a rotlin. Have you? 23 centimetres. Oh, well, it's a fish, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what have you caught so far then? Nothing at all. Nothing at all? Mr. Wilson, have you caught anything? Lots of things, Jimmy. What? Hold for one. Uh, I'm smashing you all up with my 23 centimetre rock, Lynn. Sure. Ryan can't keep up with the pace of the match. <laughs> you keep the rock, Jim. You keep your rock. <laughs> Nice day, mate. mate, it is a nice yeah. day, isn't it? It's a nice little spot. There's no such thing as a special. Lug wrap with squid. That Lug seems to be the squid. thing, isn't it? Everyone's on about. That's what I'm trying, but... Yeah. Wickham special. It's a Wickham special, that. What's special about it? Um. <laughs> Not a lot really, I think it's going to get washed out is a special thing about it. <laughs> but it, it was one from here last year, we reckon, wasn't it? It was one from here, yes. I, think. I don't think it's going to be one today though, is it? No. Who picked it? Darren Kramer did, mistakenly. <laughs> have, you, have you fished here before? I have, and not caught much then yeah. either. <laughs> so we rushed down here. Yeah, <laughs> seems to be the, the theme. Well, you don't know, there's still lots of time, isn't there? Lots of time, another four hours to go yet, Jim.
Just seen the Wickham special bait prep over there. Nothing special here. <laughs> what have you got then? It's a nice black and a little baby squid. There we are. It's got fish written all over it. Probably Ryan's moaning about your location choice. You said it's all your fault why we're here and there's no fish. Well, if he hadn't come in drunk as a scum last night, he would have gone where he wanted to go. <laughs> Falling up and down the stairs, then like generally being a club and slamming the door at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, can't believe they go out drinking, can you, at these things? Oh, Wilson's done it again, hasn't he? Well done, mate. It's nice that one of us has got one. Nice one, mate. Well done, mate. There we are. Oh, last half hour. It's uh, been a bit of a struggle, so I haven't yet got uh, a sizable fish to weigh in, which is really disappointing, but um, we might get one yet. Um, so we had uh, Mick had for that that cod, and then Lee McGrady next to him, or a couple of pegs down, he had two uh, sizable cod, both about 42 centimeters. They were all caught very quick together, uh, really close in, about 40 yards out. So I went uh, 40, 50 yards out, and I unfortunately missed the run of them and didn't quite manage to get one, which is really disappointing because they were there, but. There's still time, there's still time. Twenty five minutes to go and we've managed to get a sizable fish. That means we can weigh in. Uh, that's a flounder. They've got to be thirty centimeters. That one is about thirty one. Um Really, really, really happy with that. Just keep going to the end. In any match, don't give up because I, I was starting to lose hope, but we've got something. There's quite a few cod being caught further down on here, so it's not like we're going to be up there in the results. But a sizable fish is a sizable fish. Darren Wilson has just had one last cast as well, a, a 40 something centimeter, so he's going to be weighing in as well as his dad, Mick. Tiny fish. Well done, Darren. Happy mate! Very happy. Oh, ticket! Yes, it mate. You. We didn't get you in the video because I was trying to catch one, but we didn't manage it, mate. Two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm all right, mate. Not partial to a bit of flounder. Cards all falling apart. Here we are, day two uh, of the European Open Beach Fishing Championships. We've come to the same beach again. Um, well, there were a few fish come up, a few cod come up, uh, and we're just praying that we're going to get one, really. I mean, where we're fishing, like if you don't come here or you haven't been here before, 
it's all a roadie cliff. So you have to come down in a roadie cliff to uh, fish here, which is not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, if you go up your sort of with and see, there are loads of easy access marks if that's more your thing. And what I've done in the past, but um, this year, obviously I've come with Ryan and Darren Kramer. They know how to get down all these things. And I've learned a lot about coming down cliffs and the safe way to do it. But to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't do it on my own if, it's, if you don't know the area. Uh, it's a big no-no, it is dangerous. Um, but to get on the fish, I think you sort of have to, you have to do it. So here we are again. Right, I didn't have much beer last night, so I'm hoping uh, today's gonna go a bit better, mainly because we're starting the match sober, which, <laughs> which is always a good thing. I mean, tactics today, I, am, I mean, most of the fish are coming really close in. In actual fact, all the fish are coming close in. At the weigh-in last night, you can see a lot of older gentlemen that are probably not casting that far by the look of them uh, and as we i saw with my own eyes the fish are coming in 30 or 40 yards out um people like ryan wickham over there he won't come in he just keeps hitting it but you know i, I want to um want to try and catch uh, something sizable uh, rig wise and bait wise we're going with a pulley panel which seems to be so far the rig of choice up here really um for whatever reason that seems to work even close in work i'm just using a pulley panel um black lug with uh squid uh it's, it's kind of as simple as that i don't think you need many other baits up here i mean yellow tails are nice but hard to keep alive but so you know black lug bit of squid nice and simple right now we have caught a fish which is good it's a white in 33 centimeters and unfortunately here it's got to be 35 i think 35 36 it's undersized so he's gonna have to go back um it'd be nice to weigh in both days saying that it is 11.48, we're fishing till three, so we could still be in it. We could still be in it. I really, really want to catch a codlin today. That's all I want to catch. We'll put this one back. Were you going for a flounder, Robbie? It wasn't. <laughs> what did you get, John? I had a cheer. What did you have? A nice rock A rock Well, it's nice to see nice flounder. Right, two hours left in the competition. This is the time when the fish are about an hour before high tides. This is when things happen. So, you see behind me, I've come really close in now. We're about 30 yards out. Um, can we do this? Can we actually pull it off? I don't know. Enjoying this job? Yeah, yeah, really good, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you've caught a rockling. I mean, that's better than nothing. Yeah, worth a 250-mile journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 200 quid in fuel. <laughs> well, 200 quid in fuel now. Hey, the nightlife's been good, John. Been all right. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie's just said you've had three crack offs today. Uh, no, two. Two? Oh, two, he's no. exaggerating, is he? Yeah. One of them just, just bounced back. So. Yeah. <laughs> 20 past one, Robbie. Finishing at three. What were you thinking? I'm hoping it would pick up now, but we had your white in, I had that flat in, and John had the rockling. John's Rockland. Is he happy with his Rockland? <laughs> <laughs> Save the blank. <laughs> so he, he got here, he done the flight bash on Friday, fished all day yesterday, and today he's caught a Rockland. That's the first fish. <laughs> Keep him going, that is. <laughs> he's no, had a few so... beers, though, didn't he? So he's... <laughs> <laughs> it's just died off. I thought. I thought he would pick up, but. What are we going for? Blacks? I'm just going to check some blacks out then, yeah. Yeah. I thought I had the flat you on, so. Right, what's happening over here then? 
Um, well, it's very slow. No fish? Not even a bite, Jimmer. Oh, I had a white and a 33. The only bite I've had is my biscuits and my Mars bars. You, you're good at the old food, though. You do I bring like, some good food. I like my food, Jimmy. Yes, I do. Me, you've made me a bit of toast this morning. I was quite happy. Breakfast in bed nearly. <laughs> you can get up. <laughs> have you enjoyed your weekend? Mate, I've enjoyed it. It's been, yeah. It's been, it's been good, isn't it? I just, I, I just want a cod. Do you know what I mean? You really want a cod. That's why we're all here, yeah, isn't it? Everyone wants a cod, Jimmy. Everyone wants a cod. Well, it's cod. nice that Rob's had one and an undersized yeah, one. Good. That's all good. That's Robbie's all good. weighing in both days. But we've still got. Yeah, wow, yeah, this is it. One and a half hours. Hey! Is the other roommate? You're right. How many cod have you had? Um, yeah, I've lost count now. <laughs> How many is it? Uh, have you had any undersized fish? I've not had a fish all day. No? And yesterday. No, not yesterday at all? Blankety blank for me. Dear me. Unless we're doing something wrong. Well, you're beating me twice, days. <laughs> On the North white. East Coast, it's that's black and white. There we are. But that's a top, that's a top bait. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked this weekend. No. <laughs> <laughs> Expert tips. <laughs> Won't yeah. catch you f <laughs> You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to swear. Yeah, front there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look. The guns here. Yeah, there's one on the beach every year. Oh, <laughs> have you caught a fish yet today? No. Have you caught one yesterday? Yes. Yes. What did you get yesterday? I had a flounder, uh, just under size. Oh. 20, 29 centimetres. How long have you had that hat? That's the most important question. Oh, years. Years yeah. and years. <laughs> long time, isn't it? Yeah. You don't see many of them around, do you, to be fair? No. <laughs> Where have you come up from? Plymouth? Yeah. A long old way in it for us boys. Yeah, it was well, broken up. Sort of halfway well, well, so that's it. So. Yeah. Well... Why are you wearing sunglasses? Yeah, yeah, you got... You need a holiday. Well, something to do with the app fray, uh... Look, if it all goes wrong, we just go to the pub later, we'd be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How would you say it's all going so very, far? Very, very poorly. <laughs> would be my general observation. <laughs> There's still time though, isn't there? There is an hour and a half, Jimmy, yeah. So we, there's still time. And if not, pub later. <laughs> <laughs> For one more beer. <laughs> one more beer. <laughs> one more night. One more night of beers. <laughs> there's a dead seal over there. There's not. Oh. <laughs> 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 One cast close in, come on, you've got to do it, you can't just keep hitting it. You've I'm only cast for two days. <laughs> I'm sticking to my gun. <laughs> Don't leave. How's your day going? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Is it all worth it? Yeah. It's all worth it. <laughs> Man. How are you, mate? Yeah, no, I'm good, mate. I'm hearing rumours. You're called Rob the Cop now. Oh, well, yeah. you know. Can we have a look? Can have a little look, mate. <laughs> Not massive. Hey, here we are. That's what they look like. That's. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Jim. How do you catch it? Ah, well, <laughs> pulley panel? No, no, what actually? Who would say what, Bob? It's on one of John's rigs. Oh! I borrowed a rig off of John. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you really? Yeah, yeah. Pompey Loot rig. Pompey Loot rig. What size hooks? Size one O's. One O's? Yeah. There we go. Got any more rigs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I borrowed another one. one no. uh, <laughs> Dave bloody gun let, uh, let me a rig last night, about five metres long. It was a sort of eight O's on it or something. The one with the dodgy packet. Well, yeah, it was in the dodgy packet. There's loads of the Southern League boys down here today. Um, there was quite a few Southern League boys here yesterday, but now everyone's come here and it's basically like a Southern League match in Yorkshire. Pretty much as far as I can see. 
It's all Southern League. <laughs> hey, look who I found! How many fish have you had? None. Yesterday? One. You're sizable? No. <laughs> oh. There's 10 minutes left of the competition and it's looking like I'm not going to get my cod unless some sort of miracle happens on the last cast. <sighs> Off the bar it is then. What have we got then? Oh! That's what we wanted. Cartery. Yeah, but they got these. Oh, I don't know. What have they got to be? 40? What they got to be? 40, I don't know what they got. 40, yeah. Is it 40? Yeah, it goes 40. Sorry? Hey. Yeah, well done, mate. You're welcome. That's what they're all. Five runs. All the way from Hampshire. Anton James. Hey! <laughs> In sixth place, we have asked for two kilos and 85 pounds. Right, so all in all, a brilliant, brilliant weekend. Like, so much fun. Um, the bad news is, uh, I, it's Thursday today, and I've just tested positive for COVID. Around, I, I'm guessing around 60% of the people that you've seen in the video also now have COVID. Um, and I've also just received two messages this morning from different people, a guy from Wales and a guy from the Midlands, two separate people that weren't in our group that have also said they've got COVID from the event. So if you were there, you do need to test yourself. Um, I'm feel, I've been feeling a bit ill all week. Um, but I've, I've been testing negative every day until this morning, um, which is a, a reminder that uh, it's still very much here. Of course, we can get carried away with everything's back to normal. But um, for example, my missus works at a dentist. If she gets it, which she likely will, she has to have a couple of weeks off. She's not going to get paid. It's uh, Things get very difficult, don't they, very quickly. I've also meant to be getting my father-in-law's shopping because he's just come out of hospital for a knee operation. I can't do that now. So this does have, uh, you know, it does have a big effect on, on life in general, even though I'm probably going to be okay and fine, I hope. Um, you know, it does have an ongoing effect. So if you were there, you do need to get yourself a COVID test. I don't think the organisers have put anything out, but I think if you're in the bar on Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, uh, you really need to get tested because it is quite likely, I think, from our group that you you could well uh, now be positive with COVID, which is a, a bit of a downer on a brilliant weekend because it was one of the best fishing weekends that I've ever had. It was really, really good. I mean, I didn't get my cod and I, or, or a big fish. I wanted one big fish, and it's um, but I did weigh in one day. I think I came about 300th, which I guess if there was around 1,500 people, well, it is what it is. Uh, a massive well done to Anton James, who was the only guy from the Southern Leagues that got up onto the big stage. He had he went north on the Sunday after a bass, and he caught one of 50-something centimetres. And he came seventh on the Sunday, and I think he was 26th overall. Uh, and Anton's a, a wicked bloke, so well done, Anton. Um, Robbie Gin weighed in both days. Uh, well, you see all the cod Rob Remnant uh, had... Um, had his cod on the Sunday, Liam McGrady had a couple, Darren Wilson, there were fish, uh, I just hope that one year that I'm going to get one, um, we're going to keep this short because my voice is going already, the winner of the overall championship was Neil Robinson, um, and I will leave a link in the description where you can download the full results, but obviously someone actually messaged me um, earlier and was saying, well, the weights don't seem very high. Remember, on this competition, it's your biggest fish of each day. That is your weight. So I think you had a six and a half pound cod on the Saturday or, or a, a six and a half pound fish. I think it was a cod on the Saturday. And then he got something similar on a Sunday. That's what you needed to do well. Sort of a six pound fish both days would have been there or thereabouts. Uh, I couldn't catch any of the big fish. But 
I will be back, um, hopefully, probably when COVID's died down a bit, because I don't want to be getting that over a year. Uh, but thanks for watching. Do subscribe. Uh, the good news is, obviously, I'm not going to be fishing um, until COVID, until I'm testing negative for COVID. But I have got round through the Southern League and Opens from Chesil Beach, which was actually before the European Open, the weekend before. So that video will be out in the next week. So do give us a subscribe. Loads more angling adventures coming soon. Um, over and out from a very croaky Jimmy Willis.